Hello you BeekTubers, it is Gizzy Greenfingers here and in this episode of the Bonsai Zone with Gizzy Greenfingers I'm sorry no, I'm just joking in this episode of Gizzy Greenfingers what we are going to be doing today is a partial leaf defoliation on this English oak that I've been nurturing for the last 10 years nearly it's about 10 or 11 years old, but it was tiny when I got it, it was tiny. Um, now I did quite a big root prune on, on Oakley in the spring, and if I just turn it upside down, or well, maybe not upside down, but look, it's doing well, it's, just, it's doing really well. And that's in Akadama, pumice and lava rock, that mix I made. And it's done it the world of good. The world of good. Don't you think, Mick? Mike, whatever your fucking name is. Anyway, so with a leaf defoliation, they say, oh, you should never do a leaf defoliation if you've done a major root poo in the same year. Well, I'm going to. I'm gonna because I want to. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna zoom in a little bit and we'll just do it in sections. We'll probably get a bit more light on the situation, shall we? And we will go I'd love to do this in the garden, I really would, but I don't want the neighbours hearing me sounding talking myself. I don't know. No I'm crazy. Right, so let's try and zoom that in and focus that. So what is the effing point of leaf defoliation? Well, you want to remove some of the bigger leaves and sort of leave the smaller ones behind. Oh, why'd you do that, Gizzy? Well, I've heard, I've heard on the grapevine that promotes like back bed and stuff like that maybe I don't really know I just sort of want to I've got loads of leaves going on I just want to sort of thin it out a little just to see more of the branch structure in question now to remove the leaves it's quite a simple process really I'm going to see me out a little just a little try and get a bit more light in the situation I'll put that like that. I've um, I broke my phone holder the other day for my tripod, and I had to um. Well, I've got aluminium tape just all taped to the phone as we speak because I forgot the bow. Oh, don't fall off, please don't fall off. It's in there if it wants to. Right, where were we? So you want to take off, see, at the end, of, with oaks, you get like a cluster of loads of leaves and you don't want all those leaves on there. You just take off the ones that you don't want off. By doing so, you see those smaller leaves behind it? That's sort of what you want to, sort of what you want to go for. If we just put loads of small leaves, we'll just pan down a little. So it's like a sweat box in here, but I don't want the windows open because the neighbours will be like, hey, he's talking to himself again. He may do it again, Sandra. He doing it again. I'll be like, no, the hilly. But uh, maybe, maybe one day we're going to garden. Maybe one day. So, and to take the leaves off, all you do is you just pull back and it'll just fall off. It'll just fall off just like that. It's um, quite a simple process, but I've got so many leaves and branches on this actual tree I'm spoiled for choice 
I like that. I like that. That that also. So this bit here, that needs sorting. Now I've done this every year. I have done it every year. And um, well, this tree's still alive. So what I've been doing every year must be doing. I must be doing something right, you know. Just move that over, I'll shuffle it over a bit. I've just got a I've just got a have a sip of sip of Jack's oh, I just need a drink. I'll be back in a sec. Are you back in the room? Yeah, I wasn't making sense just then because it's been a hot day. It's been a bloody hot day, but by God we've sorted it. So in this cluster we just take off. A lot of these end ones. Yes, if I, if I don't talk through the video, it's because I'm bloody trying to concentrate with not breaking the branch in the process. Or tearing it. Because if you tear it, which you can do, it's not good for it either. We got it not good for it either. We just we'll pan you up a little and we we'll, we'll go down a little. We'll get a 3D view of the tree. You can see what I've done so far. It's thinned it out thinned it out quite a bit. You see? Bloody hell that's thinned that up a bit, Gizzy. Do you know what you're on about? I don't know, I'll have to ask Mick. Mick is this bloody is it going to be sheer luck if this survives after this? Well, well, who bloody knows? Who knows, Mick? And I reckon I've been doing this bloody long enough to know what Oakley likes and what Oakley doesn't like. If it feels like it doesn't want to come off, then don't pull it off. That's my motto. That's my bloody motto. Just pan you down a bit. That. Yeah, I've got branches coming off everywhere. Oh, I've got smoke in the eye. I'm going to pause. Are oh, you back in the room? I'm back in the room. We've got the smoke out the eye. So. The date is the 17th of July, I believe, 2024. And, um, and these leaves have been growing since then, so to be fair, a lot of them are quite small. I don't know how much bigger they would have got, but you haven't got much summer left to um, do whatever they were going to do. Do you get me? So, what I'm doing must be working by training the leaves. That's why they say to defoliate because it trains the leaves to be smaller. That's what they tell you. Oh, that be what they tell you. And then, yeah, Let's just work our way around the tree, defoliating. And what this do is it it let the sunlight break through all the branches and it will and it would, it might promote back by then. It bloody might, you know. All I know is when I've done this, this tree's gonna look bloody epic and you'll lot you lot be like, oh wow, he, he might know what he's on about. He might be winging it. I could be winging it. I could be. I have to ask Mick that. Am I winging it, Mick? Yes, it's a Miracle if that survives. Oh, oh, that'll be if it falls off there. Oh, you can F off. Yes, if you want to send donations for so I can buy some good bloody equipment, then you know what to do. Put your hand in your pocket. Or if not, just bloody like. So, here we are again. Take those off. 
pull them backwards. That's good. See, all those are really small. Like they coming off. I like that. Those fucking big snacks. All these boxes are really. Oh, this looks epic. This really does look epic. I'll try and get you. Try and get your bird's eye view. Uh, so he's going for the bird's eye view, is he? Yeah, going for that bird's eye view, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, he's actually doing it. He's going for that bird's eye view. Trying to focus you in a little. He come out. He come out. Yeah, I think come out. And that one there can come out. I'll leave him on there, like that. Like all those little leaves. Whoa, this looks... I told you. I, look. Stop sounding cocky, Gizzy. Just, just do what you need to do. And let the views... Let the views tell you what's going on. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll do that. You can have for... No, not the beer! Oh. Right, I've just got to pause it a sec. Welcome back, YouTubers. So we've had a bit of bad news. Lost about... Four gulps out of my beer. It's alright, it's alright. I've got another one chilling in the fridge, but after that, it's Stella. And drinking ale and then Stella is not is not wise thing to do, really, to be honest, because it gives you a stinking hangover in the morning. Oh yeah, it does. It does, but are you man enough to take the hangover? I might be. I might be. Or I might not be. Yeah, you're coming off. Pow. Alright, so let's just um I'll have to turn the light off a second to zoom out a little. So we've still got quite a bit to go, ladies and gentlemen. We've still got loads of clusters and clumps of leaves everywhere. Because this tree was laden. Laden? 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 Something like that. Oh, you've been drinking again? Yeah, well, it's the day off tomorrow. It's the day off. Well, well deserved day off. And I thought, what better thing to do is. Ah, uh, see, I've ripped that. You see that? I don't like, don't like doing that. I don't like effing doing that because that could promote infection into that actual branch. But we should be okay. We should be. So like the leaves tell you what, like if they want to come off, they'll be like, yeah, you can take me off. And then others be like, no, no, I'm staying. You're taking me off. You take me off, you're going to have the branch up. So, so the tree's actually talking to you, because he's, well, maybe you need therapy. See, like that, that just goes straight off, straight off. Wow, this looks amazing, because all these leaves are tiny. <laughs> You've done it again, Gizzy. You've done it again, you arrogant, big-headed tosser. That's what people would call me. Well, I'll be honest. I know what looks good, and this is starting to look good. Award-winning. If he does say so himself. Yeah, well, no one else is going to praise you, so you've got to praise yourself. And that is what I am going to do. I'm going to praise myself. I know how this is going to look in a fair few more years old. In more years time, maybe. Yeah, I know. Silent push. Let's just... Let's put you down a little. Let's put you down a little. Let's see what I'm doing. Oh. There we go. There we go. There's the train. Crazy crap, but 
And then fast green train goes past my house. It fucks my signal up. Yep. It just blocks my phone signal for like 30 seconds. Now that ain't right, is it? No, it's not. Not when you pay a fortune for your bloody phone, phone bill. They uh, want to sort that. No, he ain't ready. Oh, he is. He ain't ready, but he was. So as you can see, this is like a major job. There's a bloody lot of leaves on it. That needed. Oh, don't don't fall off. See, aluminium tape. I don't want that to fall off. I have ordered another thing. It's coming Saturday. I think Saturday. It's Thursday. It's only gonna blow a long wait yet. So, if I do any videos between between them, it's either gonna be an aluminium tape job, or it's gonna be hands free. And I'm, I've got the shakes. I can't help that. Just always have. So you wouldn't want that. Oh, he ain't ready, but he wants to come off. So you're going to make your way around the tree. Oh, I'm sorry about the silence, it's just because I'm really concentrating. Sometimes I do have to actually concentrate and not act the fool all the time. And to be fair, this is one of the times I've got to, got to concentrate, unfortunately. Stop acting the fool. Stop acting the fool, Gizzy. So, if you want to, or if you are growing a English oak, and you've only just started it off, you've got to wait a good 10 years to get to sort of, sort of this stage. But then that's when it gets really exciting. Really exciting. I think we are nearly getting there, ladies and gentlemen. It all depends like how far do you want to go? How far do you want to do it? Let's see where you're at. So yeah, I'm just gonna do a few more like finishing touches just to it out a little bit more The branch structure is looking really great. Um, if I do see so myself, um, I'm happy with how it's all planned. Planning. What the planning that I've been putting into this over the years. 
Yes, you'd think I was old. No. 31. 31. <laughs> Learn. I had an extra decade on that. I look 31. That's what I keep telling myself. Now, we should hope this tree survives. I've got good hopes for it. It's been doing great. You saw that root system on it. You saw how great that looked. Um, so yeah, it's all about the leaf defoliation and what leaves to take out. You've got to have an eye for detail. Not just take all any willy nilly leaf off. You see. Well, I suppose a bit of talk. I think I'm there. I think I've taken what I want to take off. I haven't. No, I haven't. There's a few on the bottom that I ain't happy with. I'm happy with you, but you've got to stay. You've got to stay. Sometimes they've got to stay, you know. This is weird. I'd so like two new branches just grow out. This. Off their own accord. None of the other tree did, but these two thought, no, you you potted me so well, Gizzy. We're gonna we're gonna thank you with a few more branches. That's what they did. Hey, that'd be what they did. So this is it. This is what we have left after leaf defoliation. Well, how many leaves to take off, Gizzy? Enough. Enough, Big. Enough. Look at all these bugs you got starting there. It's loving life. It is loving life. Oh, yeah, but is it going to die after your leaf defoliation, Gizzy? Well, we can only ask Mick. Mick will have the answer to that. So we'll wait for Mick's response to know if this oak bonsai will survive. It's in Mike's hands now. Oh, it's in Mike's hands now. Mike's hands. Prick. But if you have enjoyed watching, then please do not forget to like, share and subscribe. And even if you want to see if this has survived after this, or if Mike is right and it won't, because that's what he'd say. He'd go, nah, it's a, a little bit bloody miracle if that survives. Yes, yes, you butchered that. You bloody butchered it. But if you like it, then please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Gizzy Green Fingers.